All right, y'all, so it's coming up on National Moth Week once again. It may already be National Moth Week, or maybe it kicks off this weekend, I think. Either way, so I'm trying a new method here. I'm going mobile with my uh, my black light trap for mothing. So basically, I've just attached a sheet to the car. I uh, picked up one of these Everstart uh, battery uh, jump starters. Um, not sure how long this is gonna last I'll find out tonight but uh, from what I've read on some forums and stuff it looks like this is gonna work out pretty well plus it comes with a jump starter and an air compressor and USBs for charging phones so it actually seems like it's a pretty good all-around investment so I'm out here since I'm mobile now I'm out here at this native prairie plantation so there's a lot of uh, cool plants that you really don't find anywhere else uh, that are here and uh, not sure if you can pick up the moon there, but it's pretty much just a little tiny crescent of a moon. So we should have pretty good luck tonight. Just got done with a pretty good heavy rain. It's been raining off and on all day, but it should be done now. Wind's really still. So best possible chance. Um, only thing I could, uh, I, I forgot is I should have brought a, a power strip or something so I could hook up more than one light. I just have one 15 watt black light attached right now i've got a a, a led i think it's a i'm not sure what the lumens are on that it's, it's pretty high lumens but it's not like anything crazy but uh we'll see how it goes tonight and uh i'll let you all know all right well it's just now getting dark enough to where things are really starting to show up i've got my phone plugged in i've got uh the light going looks like we've gotten a bunch of uh, uh, like wetland species and stream species a lot of uh, catus flies a lot of mayflies and stoneflies but uh, that's really about it a couple leaf hoppers still no moths yet but uh, the night right, is young we have got our first moss it is a I think they pronounce Clemen moss c-l-e-m-e-n-e -E -E. um, Kind of a cool uh super metal they have a little upside down cross on them because they're uh you know satanist moss and all that but uh yeah really cool moth real common this time of year um but still it's uh the first one at the mobile trap so i'm excited all right so we're about one hour in past dark probably about hour and a half hour 45 since i first started um we've got some pretty cool moss showing up here I got an io moth that's a always a cool one they're not too uh impressive just regular but they have two really super cool eye spots you have to be quick to let's see if she'll show them there so you see your eye spots real cool real cool defensive uh posture bunch of these little uh, uh mayflies down through here a few little brown jobs, stonefly, another one of those guys, the clement moth that's still down there. Um, all in all, not too bad for one hour in. Usually the peak is around midnight. So uh, we'll see uh, if anything all else right, shows up. So it is coming up on midnight, and I think I'm about to call it quits for the night. Um, so let's just see what we've got. I've switched out the light source. Um, I think I like the black light better still, uh, but let's see what we got here. The IO moth is still hanging around. Got these guys here. There's quite a few of them. Uh, we got a lot of stuff flipping out right here around the light, but they're not going to be still, of course. Yeah, I think I like it better when, uh, with the black light, certainly. A few June beetles. Couple of these gray moths. Got to key those out or look them up in a guide. Got moths on me. Here's a nice slug moth. This guy here's got a lot of kind of iridescent colors. I don't know if it's gonna come through. Uh, a few more stone flies. These gorgeous things. But yeah, nothing uh Really, I, I'm a little disappointed with how many I, how many moths I got showing up, but I think I need one of those real good um, 
a real good black light too. So if anybody has one they recommend for mothing, if you can shoot me a link, especially if I can just plug it into this thing, which I am super happy about. So it's been going for several hours now and it's it's still I mean this is pretty much like as soon as I plugged it in it went down to it lost one of these which this is new from uh, from the store so I didn't even really have time to charge it up I, I plugged it up but only for maybe 30 minutes so it wasn't fully charged when I started I, I'm I'm confident that this thing will probably power a full night of these lights going uh, I've had my phone charging um, I turned the little it's got this little LED light on the side that you can turn on, which isn't very much light, but it's enough if you were camping or something. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy with that. I'll put a link in the description on where you can pick that up. But yeah, so uh, keep an eye out. I'll probably make another video. Hopefully, I'll improve a few things with the setup uh, before then. But uh, yeah, stay tuned.